rationality axioms. Let us in this video try and discuss what are the different rationality axioms. What is rational consumer? Beta, a rational consumer is any consumer who goes ahead and thinks rationally. What do I mean by thinking rationally? Thinking rationally means that you go ahead and give priority to your consumption over other person's consumption. You want to maximize your own utility, right? So, for example, if um, I am more concerned about what I consume, then I am a rational human being. But if I am more concerned with what my parents consume, then I am an altruistic human being. I am more concerned with the consumption of other individuals, right? So, so a rational human being is any human being who goes ahead and who's, who is more concerned with the utility that they derive, right? With their own consumption. Now, how do we know that any consumer per se is in fact a rational consumer? Well, there are three axioms for that. The first axiom says that there should be reflexivity. What is reflexivity? Reflexivity suggests that any good is as good as itself. What does this mean? It means that if I go ahead and I give you two apples, right? They are exactly the same apples. They are exactly of the same size, exactly of the same shape. Everything is the same. Then you should not say, I prefer one apple over the other, right? Similarly, if I give you two ball pins, right? Let's say Renault ball pins, right? Then in that case, you should not be saying, I prefer one ball pen over the other if they are exactly the same. So one good is as good as itself. You should not be saying, I prefer one over the other. But, but this is this reflexivity. It is not followed when we talk about children. If to children, I go ahead and I give, let's say, two same pen, then also they may go ahead and say, look, I prefer the first pen over the other, right? So, so children may not be completely rational, right? Because they don't follow reflexivity. But, but otherwise, a rational human being should have reflexive preferences. But the second preference that we have is called completeness. What is completeness? Completeness says that you should be able to compare. You should not be indecisive. Indecisive means? You should not be able to go ahead and say, I don't know. Apna decision dena zaruri hai. You cannot go ahead and say, Mera koi decision nahi hai. That means that if I give you two bundles, then you should be able to tell me whether you prefer A over B or B over A or you are indifferent between A and B. Let me give you an example. Suppose I give you 50 rupees and I ask you, Achha, do you want to have a McDonald's burger? or noodles and you know you will tell me either you can tell me look I prefer burger over noodles or you can tell me look I prefer noodles over burger or you can tell me look I am indifferent between the two I am okay with eating any of the two right but you cannot go ahead and say I don't know Ye nahi bol sakte, pata nahi bhai, kaun sa better hai. that should not happen with the rational consumer a rational consumer should be able to go ahead and make choices. He should be able to decide what he wants. That is completeness. Now, the third rationality that we have is called transitivity. But a transitivity is defined over a tuple. Tuple matlab kya? Over three bundles. Transitivity ke liye teen bundles hone zaruri hai. We need a minimum of three bundles to define transitivity. Take it. What is transitivity? Very simple. If I prefer A over B and B over C, then I should be preferring A over C. Agar A ko B ke upar preference mil rahi hai, B ko C ke upar preference mil rahi hai, to A ko C ke upar preference mil ni zaruri hai. If I prefer A over B, and B over C, then I should be preferring A over C. Okay, ji. But this is called that individual choices are internally consistent. Hamari jo choices hain, 
वो इंटरनली कंसिस्टेंट है हम कंसिस्टेंसी फॉलो कर रहे हैं दैट इफ आई प्रेफर वन ओवर अदर एंड अदर ओवर अदर देन आई प्रेफर ए ओवर सी ऑल्सो बेटा ये इंडिफरेंस में भी बोल सकते हैं दैट इफ ए एंड बी में आई एम इंडिफरेंट एंड आई एम इंडिफरेंट बिटवीन बी एंड सी देन आई शुड बी इंडिफरेंट बिटवीन ए एंड सी दिस इज कॉल्ड बींग इंटरनली कंसिस्टेंट right now <clears throat> when i talk about cyclical preferences these preferences are intransitive preferences cyclical preferences kaun si hoti hain aisa kuch a is preferred over b b is preferred over c and c is preferred over a so when you have this cycle that a is preferred over b b over c but c over a These are called cyclical preferences. But in this case, me transitivity is not followed. It is intransitive. Okay. So another example, which which we will take later on, is called voting paradox. Right. So even during voting, we see that uh, the preferences may become intransitive. Right. I hope this is making sense to you. Okay, so these were the axioms of rationality. Thank you.